What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to automatically get the auto completion suggestions from Google using Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so this is going to be a very quick tutorial today. We're going to learn how to get the auto completion suggestions from Google in Python. And this can be useful for a number of different use cases. For example, let's say you have a list of company names or of keywords that you're interested in, and you want to know what are the natural auto completion suggestions that Google offers when you type that term, that keyword, that name uh, into the search bar. And maybe you also want to compare the results between different countries across different countries. So maybe you want to see, okay, what's the difference between Googling neural nine in Austria, which is where I'm from, um, and doing that in the US doing that in Germany doing that in UK and so on. So this is also something that we're going to take a look at. Now, what we need to do first is we need to install an external Python package in case you don't have it on your system yet. Uh, and this package is request. So either pip or pip three install requests like this, and then we can get started with the code. It's not going to be much code. As I said, this is going to be quite a quick tutorial today. We're going to import JSON, which is the core Python package JSON. Um, and then we're also going to import requests, which is the package that we just installed. Now, all we need to do is we need to send a request to Google and we need to get the suggestions. So what we're going to do first is we're going to define a completion query. Now, this is the thing that we want to Google for. I'm going to start with neural nine here, which is the name of this channel, obviously. And we want to see what the auto completion suggestions are for neural nine. Um, now, what we're also going to define is headers. And in the headers, we're going to define uh, the user agent, the user agent is basically the identifier for the machine and browser that we're using. Uh, I'm going to copy paste that here, you can just Google the uh, current user agent for whatever you want to mimic. Uh, in my case, it's a Linux Ubuntu system with Firefox. Uh, but that is basically the user agent here. If you want to mimic a Windows uh, or Android operating system, you have to change this slightly. As you can see, this is Ubuntu Linux and Firefox. All right, so this is just to make it seem like it's a browser. And then we're going to say response equals requests dot get. And we're going to say HTTP colon slash slash Google com slash complete. So this is the complete uh, endpoint here and search is going to be equal uh, or search is the endpoint and then question mark. We're going to say client is going to be equal to Chrome and uh, Q, which is the query is going to be equal to completion query, which we defined up here. So neural nine. So we're actually using the official Google endpoint complete and search here to complete our completion query, which is neural nine. So all we have to do now to get the result is we need to say for response or for completion in JSON load from string response text one, just print the completion. That is basically it. If I now run this here, you're going to see I get the completions immediately neural nine GitHub, neural nine GitHub config files, neural nine Vim, neural nine YouTube, neural nine Python, and so on. I can also do the same thing here with Nvidia, for example, if I want to have a list of uh, companies that I want to analyze, maybe in terms of sentiment uh, analysis, when I look at the completions, you will see here that Nvidia, I get German suggestions here. So this means stock in German, basically, this means driver, uh, this means basically stock price. So you can see I get German suggestions since I'm sending the request from Austria. Now what I can do is I can provide a proxy. Now which proxy you choose uh, is actually up to you. I just found a free proxy list and I used one proxy here. Uh, you just have to provide a dictionary proxies and then you can say HTTP. And in my case, I use this proxy probably it's not going to work when you watch this video. But that is the proxy. And if I run this now, you can see I get English responses because this proxy is actually a US proxy. So when I'm asking for completion, I'm asking for a United States completion. So yeah, that's basically how you do that. You can of course now put some more stuff around this, you can define a list of keywords, you can iterate over it, you can 
uh, you know, load them from a CSV file using pandas or something. But that's the basic concept here. You can just send a request to this endpoint and you can get the completions and they differ from country to country. And then you can just compare, for example, one last thing that I can show you. Let's get rid of the proxy here again. Maybe you're interested in interesting Linux systems. So you can say Ubuntu versus and then you will get some interesting operating systems here as well as VS Code. So yeah, this is how you can do that. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.